Hello guys, welcome back to Dreaming Falcon. In audio. It's a rock right now. We are out of the museum. <laughs> Did you take your microphone? So right now we are in Hague and the city is known because it's one of the greenest city in Europe and also uh, there are more than 180 nations yeah. here, nationalities. Yeah, here. 180 nationalities live together in the city. Very international. Yeah, and it's also the political capital of Netherlands. So right now we are in our First, first location, location which is Majorum. Wow. So Majorum is known for it's behind us. You can see this spot, and it is known for uh, like small miniature world for all the main important spots in Netherlands, all of Netherlands. So you will see like a replica of many important cities, many important monuments from Netherlands, and we are excited. So let's go in and check it out, guys. So guys, right now we just came inside this, uh, let's say, miniature world and they have given us an information pamphlet where and what we have to see, what activities are there inside. They don't have actually student discount, yeah, they which do. is awful. <laughs> they don't have student in discount, the ticket costs 24 euros per person, 24.5 actually. So that's all about this entry and now let's go and enjoy this miniature world. So guys, you can see this whole small village here. It's not a village, it's Netherlands. It's Netherlands, the whole whole country. Yes, and exactly. It's, it's, it's my very, palace. Yeah, it's Yusina's palace. And it's very fascinating how small details are taken care of here. You can Look also see trees. trees. They have miniature trees which are real, not, yes, exactly. not the false ones. Everything real is trees. echo, everything is green. And you have many activities to do as well. Yes, not just very, watch. Very interesting. So, so let's go. Especially, but for us, much more. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We now take it back to 1572. The Netherlands are being 
being occupied by the Spanish. The battle against Spain ignites in Dordrecht. You have traveled here from all corners of the Netherlands, risking your very own lives. If the Spanish rulers will discover us here, not a single one of us will survive. Our cities are suffering from the war against the oppressor. The Duke of Alva, governor of the Netherlands, is killing everyone. It is about time that we deal with the terrible Iron Duke. <coughs> <laughs> so, guys, we just came outside of this show. show. And you have two versions of the show. One is in English, one is in Dutch. And you can try which one you want to see. Mm -hmm. And we saw English version and it was very interesting. It's, it's about I, history of exactly. Netherlands. I, they tell you the history of Netherlands, how Netherlands got free. And I have never seen something so creative, such a creative way to tell you about history. Of course, you will see some parts in the video in our vlog. Yes. But of it's course, worth to come here and, and see experience it by, yourself, it by yeah. yourself. It's like a 4 version. You sit in a courthouse of this national Dutch national uh, a table. Like yeah, a table in a courthouse, and you have every experience. Exactly, every experience of what of different things it's 4d <laughs> you will see like the rats running from down and bombs falling on you everything exactly. <laughs> bombs falling on you but you feel it because even when a table like a man wants to push it, it's like stamping on the table, stamping on your table and you can feel it feel the shaking. vibration and everything it's 4d and it's such a fun way to teach kids about history so let's go ahead and enjoy this Miniature world now. No, put it please to the end, please. Only the beginning. The beginning was good, but the end, don't. You see the paintings, I think. Oh. Oh. What is this? Yeah. I think someone tried. Let's go, let's go. It moves. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. 
So you have to touch the candle to light it up. How did you like it? I liked it a lot. I recommend it. It's a small word and right now I don't like this big, big word, word so much. No, it's very interesting. They have interesting ways to teach about history to kids. Every Even step you will find out something, something interesting new. Yeah. about Netherlands. Yeah, we, you find out about how Netherlands got independence, about art culture, famous artists from Netherlands, Architecture, everything. Architecture, everything. Yeah. And you can also experience a lot of things. You can Put some water on the fire on the boat or something yeah. like this. Kids have fun here Lots a lot. Lots of fun. Yeah, so you can experience this amazing place and we recommend it. Exactly. So guys, here we are at the North Sea in the city of Hague. As you can see, it's beautiful. A bit cold and windy, but so, but overall it's very beautiful. And there are many monuments around as well. Which you can see from this deck. And there are many adventures. There is bungee jumping, there is zip line. So, what do you think? I think it's nice. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. <laughs> we can do none in the magic. <laughs> So guys, right now we are inside this giant wheel on the pier which you saw while we were coming and it's giving us an amazing view. Yes. We enjoyed and a lot standing in the line <laughs> because they were putting a lot of funny songs the same which we know. Exactly and it was too much fun. People were just <laughs> enjoying, enjoying looking at us. <laughs> yes. and what can we say? Right now we are inside, in, this. inside this thing and view? we will yeah. show you the view. So of enjoy course. the view. inside this Mauritius uh, museum, art museum. Yes. This museum is known for a famous painting, which is... Who's that girl? <laughs> Who's that girl? It's a girl's painting which was found in one of the most famous kings of, Nether of Dutch kings in his house in 1655. Nobody knows who's that girl, but the team dealt which is a university from, uh, let's say, it's a university in Germany, a computer science student from there, he created how she would be looking 
originally in 1655. So this painting's information is there in this museum and it is filled with lots of such old and amazing paintings. So let's go and have a look at this art museum. Let's see what this looks So hello guys, right now we are at our next location which is Rindawal. Rindawal is a town hall of uh, Hague during the times of six, 1600s for the Dutch king. And you can see the town hall here, it is very beautiful but it's temporarily closed for the moment and in exactly in front of Rindawal you will find Benihop which is the uh, city's uh, government office which was an old town hall here which is under renovation again so at the moment we cannot show you those monuments can just show you yeah the building hall. yeah this <laughs> building know, which you can so see true. and here there there is a way to go to Benihof but unfortunately we cannot go there so guys, Hello, guys. <laughs> right now we are at the next and the final monument which is the Thorbax monument here you can see here Thorbax monument and the Thorbax garden which is a really beautiful central garden in this city it's night time right now here. exactly and you can see how the light lights up the whole city so right now we will be going and taking a walk around the city and showing you around how it looks under the lights okay. and we have our bus in some time so probably this is the last place we'll be visiting there is also a, another place where you can see the flags of all 180 nations because there are total 180 nationalities staying in Netherlands and you can see representation let's say of every uh, every country yes exactly exactly embassy. you also have embassies here yeah so you also have embassies of different countries here so that's what it is but you can also visit that street it's very beautiful so that's all from Hague welcome to the Netherlands Next up, see you in Amsterdam. Bye bye. Dream big, fly high, dreaming falcon. In audio. I have to warn you for this waffle because you're from India. Okay. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because it's Bahat Echalaka. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean?